Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. So here I am with another overview video, which is of the module members. So like every other module, members is also an important module of Odoo 17. So like if you are part of a business or any organization, you might have known the term membership because some businesses or organizations provide this membership with your customers to maintain or in order to maintain a relationship with them okay so it's very important to maintain this membership and manage it properly so for this you need a very you know proper module okay for which you can uh, manage the membership effortlessly so here i am with the members module let's uh, move on to the module and see how to manage the membership so let's move on to the members module and see what's there inside so first of all i'm going to open the members module okay so here we have the members module i'm opening it and the three menus which we have inside this members module is the members the reporting and the configuration okay so the main part or the main thing which comes in the members module is to create a member okay so creating a, um, a member is basically a common thing which you can find in uh, some modules like sales purchase and also we are creating this customer vendor and all so all these creations comes uh, similar like creation is all similar and there's a slight difference in the roles of different people okay so here let's create a new member currently we don't have any member so i'm going to create a member let it be john and as i said before in you know while creating a contact or creating an employee creating a customer or even a vendor you have seen the same thing so this member can either be an individual or a company okay so i'm putting him as an individual and obviously he'll be under some company right so we have to put him or uh, specify a company for this person so i'm specifying the company called demo company okay and once you choose that company all the details which are provided for that company will be taken here in case of the individual okay so here you have the contact of the a person and that is the contact of the company is taken here as the contact of the person okay and then you have the tax id the job position so here you can specify the job position of the person so i'm putting it as sales director or sales manager let it be Okay, so I've given the job position as sales manager. Then you have the phone number, mobile number, email, website, title and tags of the person. So phone, mobile, email and all are things uh, through which you can contact that person personally. Okay, and here you have a website. So if you have to specify any particular website, you can choose that from here and here you have a title that is how you are going to address this particular person. So it can be a doctor like madam, miss, mister and all. So I'll put Mr. over here and here you have tags. So you all know what tags are for, right? So it's basically for identification, that is for easy identification. So these are all pre-created tags and you can use it. So I'm just putting as employees. And then you have certain uh, tabs over here. First one, which is contacts and addresses. So by using this particular feature, you can add multiple addresses for the single member. So I'm going to add a contact. I'll show you how to add a contact for this member. Uh, so here I'm adding and you have these much options to add addresses like the address, other address, follow up address, delivery address, invoice address, contact and so on. Okay. So let's add the other address. I'm adding at other address and the address is there. If you want, you can change it. And then you have the email, phone number and mobile number. So once you're done, save it. And if you want to create a new one means, you can simply click on the option save and new. So I'm adding save and new. Now let's add our delivery address for this person. So I'm adding delivery and here's the address and saving and closing it. So you can see currently we've added two address for this person. So this is how you add multiple address for a member. Okay. And then you have the sales and purchase tab where you have details of the sales, the point of sale, the miscellaneous uh, details, the physical information, as well as the purchase details. So under sales, you can, you know, specify the sales person for this member and you have the payment terms as well as the price, price list. Okay. So price list will be taken off the parent company. And then you have the delivery method. So by default, it's a local delivery. And here under the purchase, you have the same thing, which is in the opposite time, I mean, opposite terms, which is like the buyer, the payment terms, the payment method. And also you have the received reminder, which is to automatically send a confirmation mail to the vendor, okay? To confirm the date on which, uh, you know, the product will be received or delivered, okay? 
So that's the receipt reminder. And then here you have the point of sale where you can set the barcode for this member. And here you have the fiscal information. So where you can set the fiscal position, which is basically for mapping of the tax. And then you have the miscellaneous information where you have this reference, the website as well as the SLA policies. So that's it. And then you have the accounting section. So this will be completely taken from the parent company. Okay. So as I said before, this is an individual working under a company. So the details will be taken off the company. Then if you want to add any kind of internal notes, you can add it over here under the internal notes. And then you have the partner assignment where the geographical location, that is the geolocation will be calculated or computed based on the longitude and the latitude. And finally, you have this tab called membership. So if you are creating uh, an employee or even a you know customer or vendor or a contact, you will have this tab called membership. But the thing is that this free member will not be ticked. Okay. So here in the members module, as you are creating a direct member, this will automatically be, uh, you know, by default, it will be checked. The checkbox will be checked. Okay. So currently he's a free member. Only once you mark it, this person will be shown under the members module as a member. So he is checked and he is a free member now. So if you want to give free membership to this person, then you have to check this. Okay, you have to select it. And then you have the current membership status, which is free member. So if I'm unchecking, it means this will go. So if you want to buy membership, you can buy it from here. Click on buy membership. Okay, and then you have to specify or uh, choose the membership from here. That is the membership products will be there, right? So if you want to create a membership product, you can go to the products and that can be chosen over here and the member price can be taken. Okay, so if I give as new, there are currently no records, okay? And then you can invoice that particular membership. So I am just clicking on free member. So this person is now a member. Okay, and that's done. And then you can save it. So here you have the joining date, the membership, the members, the invoice, and also the membership status. Okay, so that's done. Now I'm saving it. So we have successfully created a member. Okay, so that's how you create a member. Now let's go back and see. So here you have the member. So currently it's basically filtered. Now if I'm removing it, means all the other contacts or employees or customers, whatever it is, can we see here? So if I just choose this Abigail Peterson and under the membership tab, I'm just, you know, adding this as a free member, saving it. Let's see whether this person will be shown in the members. So here, let's filter it based on members. See, both of them are now displayed. So only once you give membership or buy membership to that particular contact, that person will be displayed here as a member. So only once you check uh, the free member, this, uh, you know, contacts or whoever it is will be viewed in the members as I said before. Okay. So we are having one thing called the membership product as well. So before going to the reporting section, I'll simply show you what the membership products are. So under configuration, you have this membership products. I'm opening that. So we don't have any product right now. Okay. So I'm creating a new membership product over here. So let it be membership, membership one. And here you can add an internal reference for it. So I'm adding MB1, okay, as a simple code or something. It's a reference. And then you can put it under, you know, uh, any specific product category. So I'm putting it under all products. And then you can choose the company in which this should be available. So I'm not choosing any specific company so that this will be available everywhere, okay. And if it's active, then you have to, you know, uh, make it active over here. And then you can add a description for your membership product. So I'm not doing that. I'm not adding any description. And also for the sales description, you can add it. And this will be displayed on your quotation. So here you have the membership duration. So you can set a duration, right? It, it can be like a monthly membership or yearly membership, whatever it is. So I'm putting the duration as 29th of February. And the membership fee can be added over here. So I'm adding 10. And the income account, you can choose an income account over here. So I'll put current it under current assets, it just choose an account over there. And then you have the taxes by default, which is 15 percentage. So the product is created and, you know, sorry, the membership end date also should be provided. So we'll do one thing. We'll put this as 29 and this I'm changing it to 31st of January. So it's basically a month of subscription, I mean, membership. 
okay so that's done and i'm saving it okay now if you go to the members module and create a new member so i'm not talking much oh let it be jerry let's put him under a company not i'm not going deeper into all those things let's directly go to the membership tab and here as i said before this person is a free member so if he is not a free member means what you have to do is you have to buy membership for this person so click on buy membership and here comes the membership so here you will have to choose this membership product okay so we have created a product i'm choosing that product over here and by default once you chosen that product the member price is come okay so that's the price which i have given so here you can invoice the membership so i'm invoicing it so this is basically like taking a subscription and all okay so this is done now this is in draft state now let's confirm the payment and make it to posted state so doing the register i mean registering the payment so yeah creating the payment all the details are over here now it's in payment state so let's go back and this is in posted state and as you can see the membership is bought and here under that the membership which we bought that is the details of the membership which we bought will be shown there in detail so there you have the date that is the join date the membership which we purchased and the membership fee the invoice reference and also the membership status so he is currently a paid member okay so this is how basically you buy membership you can be a free member as well as a uh you know membership which you buy okay so that's how you buy a membership and that's how you create a membership product okay now we have the only thing which is left is the reporting section so here under the reporting you can see the members analysis okay that's the only thing which comes under the membership uh reporting member analysis so here you can see the you know membership product and the uh, everything which is involved with this members so currently you have the revenue done and also the sales person so if i'm removing it means you will see the revenue done so this is the membership product we only have a single product okay so what's the revenue which is done using this membership product can be seen here so here you have the you know measures like the invoiced the paid or even the waiting ones so the paid ones is this one so currently we've only used this membership product in a single area that's the reason why it shows like this and then you have the option to add earned amount pending amount and also the quantity and even you can add the count over here so if you just put count this is the count okay now you can see the same thing in line chart and also the pie chart okay so if you just view here you have the pivot view of the same which is the tabular view where you can see the membership product which we created the quantity paid and also all the details like regarding a particular month okay so this is how basically you create a member how to put a member or change a member to a free member or even if somebody want to buy a membership how to buy it how to create a membership product and also the reporting regarding the members so that's how you can easily manage the members i hope it's clear for you guys thank you so much for watching see you with another overview video